Hello and welcome to Yoga Baby. Today we will be completing a quick baby wearing heat building yoga sculpt practice focused on strengthening the shoulders, upper back, legs, and pelvic floor. I recommend wearing your little one on your back for this sequence, but you can modify if your little one prefers to be on your front. Always remember to review proper baby wearing technique and safety prior to completing a baby wearing workout. You can find more information on baby wearing safety in the welcome video linked in the description. All you need for today is some clear space, a wall or chair, a set of light weights, soup cans or water bottles will work as well. Let's get started. To begin, set up at your wall about forearm distance away. Plant your palms at approximately shoulder height, taking a couple rounds of cat-cow. Inhale, bring your chest forward and look up for cow pose. Exhale, curl and round the upper back for cat pose. Again, inhale and exhale. Take a few more rounds on your own. Next up, taking cobra pose at the wall, bring your fingertips just above shoulder height. On your inhale, draw the shoulder blades in towards each other and broaden through the chest and collarbones. On your exhale, gently release. Place your arms out in front of you at shoulder height and begin to walk your feet back and torso forward for down dog at the wall. Just be mindful that your little one is still secure in your carrier. If you're wearing on your front, you can modify by sitting in a chair and reaching back behind you to open the chest. Take a few deep breaths here, creating space in the front of the chest and releasing the low back. For clock pose at the wall, to stretch the shoulders and chest, take your right arm to 90 degrees and place your palm, forearm, and elbow on the wall. Press into your left palm and begin to turn your torso and hips away from the wall, but keep that 90 degree angle pressing firmly into the wall. Only move as far as you need to to feel the stretch without straining or pain. After a few breaths, come back through center and repeat in the opposite direction. So creating that 90 degree angle on the opposite side, and then slowly using your other arm to press your torso and hips away from the wall to stretch the shoulders and open the chest. And then coming back to that down dog variation one more time, maybe this time just getting a little bit deeper. Remember you can modify by sitting in a chair and reaching your arms back if you're nervous about leaning forward at all. Mindfully walk your feet back in and rise up to stand. Coming into Tadasana on your mat space, root down into your whole foot, palms face forward, lift the chest lightly, gaze straight ahead. Taking five deep breaths here to ground and center, inhaling through the nose, expand through both sides of the torso and ribs, and on your exhale, make a shh sound through the mouth. As you exhale, think about zipping up from your tailbone to your belly button and lifting up through the pelvic floor to find some gentle core activation. We will come back to this breath throughout the practice to help connect to the deep core and pelvic floor. For dynamic chair pose, inhale, sit the weight back into the heels, reach the fingertips forward and up, exhale, rise to stand, the pelvic floor up and in, reach the arms out and down. Keep going, starting to move more quickly, matching breath to movement. Last time, come back to your mountain pose to reset. Take a moment to grab your light weights if you have them. Similar to that last move with a dynamic chair, but this time adding a row to work the upper back. So inhale, palms down, lift your arms to shoulder height as you sit back into the heels, and exhale, draw your belly in, draw the inner thighs together, pull your elbows actively in towards the waistline as you squeeze your shoulder blades together. Still keeping that core conscious breath as you match your breath to the movement. Next, make sure your feet are hips width distance apart. Shift your weight into your left leg and step your right leg back to find a high lunge. Bring your arms to goalpost arms at shoulder height. Take a second to make sure you're steady. On your inhale, lower your legs and lift your arms so you're moving in opposition. Exhale, lift up through the legs and pull the arms back down to goalpost position. Make sure the elbows stay lifted to shoulder height. We'll move through this position 10 times. Go as slowly as you need to to get the form down. 
Just being mindful if you feel any tension in the back knee or the front knee, you can decrease your range of motion and not lower as far. Last time. Inhale, lower, exhale, rise. Next up, bring the weights to the center of your chest. Straighten your back leg and hold in your high lunge. Option to lift your front heel and twist from your rib cage towards the front knee. Hold and pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Gently unwind and come back to center. Windmill your arms open to a T shape. Drop your back heel to the floor for warrior two. Find front heel to back arch alignment or heel to heel alignment. If that's more comfortable for you. Bend your front knee to track in line with your second toe. Adding in some dynamic movement, exhale, draw your elbows to your waist and straighten your front knee 90%. Inhale, re-bend your knee and straighten your arms. Again, exhale, draw into center, find your core conscious breath, drawing the pelvic floor and the belly up and in. Inhale, back to warrior two. Continue with this movement at your own breath pace. On your next inhale, stay in your full warrior two for a static hold. Option to add in some arm circles for additional shoulder work. Circle 15 times in one direction and 15 times in the other direction. Make sure you're still breathing through this. Check to make sure your front and back arm are at the same height. Remember, if it gets intense, you can take a break at any time and then come right back. Exhale, release, straighten your front leg, turn your toes to face forward, setting up in goddess pose. Make sure your knees, toes, and ankles are tracking in the same direction. Lengthen your tailbone gently towards the floor and draw your lower belly up and in towards your spine. Lift your chest. Exhale, press into your feet and imagine you could draw your heels in towards each other. Lift up through the pelvic floor and draw the belly in and up. Inhale, squat down. Exhale, actively press into the feet and lift up. You can rest your weights on your thighs for a little added resistance or bring your weights to the center of your chest for a little more shoulder work. We'll be moving through this position 10 times. Heel toe your feet back in together and reset in your mountain pose to take this on the other side. Starting from your dynamic chair pose, feet or hips with distance apart. Inhale, sit your hips back and weight into your heels. Arms come up to shoulder height. Exhale, draw your elbows in towards your waistline and squeeze the shoulder blades in together. Matching breath to movement. You don't have to go as quickly as I am. You can go a little slower. Just being mindful of your form and that core conscious breath. Finding strength and stability in the pelvic floor and the core. Up next, shift your weight into your right leg. Keep your feet hips distance apart and step your left leg back behind you for a high lunge. Bring your arms to goalpost arms. And then moving dynamically through this lunge, inhale, lower your legs down, press your arms up, and exhale, lift through the legs, draw the elbows back in towards their original goal pose position. And as you exhale, think of finding that lift, drawing everything, hugging in towards the center. Moving through that position 10 times. Next time coming into a high lunge hold, option to lift that front heel, twist mindfully from your rib cage over towards the front knee and pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Gently windmill the arms open, unwind, coming back to warrior two. 
front heel to back arch or heel to heel alignment. And then moving dynamically through our warrior two, inhale to lengthen, exhale, straighten the front leg 90%, hug the elbows in towards your waist. Again, inhale, extend, exhale, pull. Shoulders tracking right over hips. Just a few more times. And on your next inhale, pause in your full warrior two. You can just find a static hold or add in those arm circles, 15 circles in one direction and 15 in the other. This is when I remember it getting really intense, starting to have trouble breathing, so finding that deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. And then exhale, release, start to straighten the legs, pivot the toes over, setting back up in goddess pose with your heels in, toes out, knees, toes, and ankles all in line. Option to bring your weights to your chest, center of your chest or to rest on your thighs. On your inhale, lower down into your squat and on your exhale, mindfully press into your feet. And like an elevator rising up, draw your pelvic floor up and in, draw your belly up and in to rise up. 10 times at your own pace. Working the core, working the legs, strengthening the shoulders. And after that final set, heel toe the feet back in and release. Next up, we have our cool down. Stretch the quads, starting in dancer pose. So go ahead and find your wall or a chair or something for support. Extend your left arm up overhead and backstroke with your right arm to grab the inner edge of your right foot. You can stay totally upright or really start to kick your foot into your hands. Just deepen the stretch and the hip flexors. Without slingshotting the leg, gently rise back up and release the right leg down. Keeping your feet hips with distance apart, set your right leg back behind you and lower your right heel to the floor for a calf stretch. Option to keep your arms on the wall or bring your arms to goalpost arms and lift from the chest to open the upper back. And then stepping the feet together, cross your right ankle over top of your left thigh, sit your hips back into your left leg, reach your arms up for a figure four stretch. Rise up and release. Shake it out and we'll just complete those same stretches on the other side, starting with your quad stretch. Right arm stays on the wall, backstroke with your left arm, grab the inner edge of your left foot. Option to stay upright or really kick your left foot into your hand, start to lean slightly forward, stretching the hip flexors and the quads. Stay open in the front part of the chest. And then mindfully rising back up to stand, slowly releasing the foot from the hand. Set your left leg back down behind you. Bend into your front knee as you press your back heel, your left heel into the floor. Option to keep your arms on the wall or lifting the chest, rising up, goalpost arms, drawing the shoulder blades in towards each other. And then finally finishing with that figure four stretch, step the foot back in, cross your left ankle over top of your right thigh and sit your hips back. Nice stretch for the outer hips.
and then slowly rise up, release. And that's your practice for today. You can finish in Tadasana with one full round of your breath. Inhale and exhale out. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you wouldn't mind liking this video, subscribing to our channel so you're notified when future videos are released. Thank you so much. Have a great day.